I'm Aaron Fawn, and I'm on a trip for life. Cosmos is full beyond measure. Elegant truths of exquisite interrelationships of the awesome machinery of nature. I believe our future depends powerfully on how well we understand this cosmos, in which we float like a boat of dust in the morning sky. Hello, everyone. If you've been watching this show, you're probably already a bit of a local boy in attempting to buy local fruits, vegetables, and meats in order to help the local economy and the local environment. But I think you need to take it a step further and also try to buy local packaged goods like peanut butter and pickles. Why is this? For a lot of the same reasons that you want to buy local fruits and vegetables, and for a few more. And what are these reasons? Well, there's an economic reason. When you buy food, be it veggies or cheese, from a large multinational corporation, that money is not doing work in your area anymore. It's not really even being invested in the community where the product was made. Instead, the real fat of the profit ends up on Wall Street, where, if recent experience is any guide, it's just going to be wasted on fast cars, hookers and blow, or lost in some wild-eyed scheme. Buying local keeps the money local, where it can be better used. And this is just as true of packaged foods as this is of fresh foods. Another reason is to help the environment. What's the point of wasting energy shipping things across the country when you can just make them here? This is especially true of packaged foods like pickles. Things like this are packaged in water and glass, and as a result, they're very heavy. The heavier an object is, the more wasteful it is to transport it, because it requires more energy. By buying something like this, which came from right down the road, you're saving a tremendous amount of energy over things that are made across the country. But there's a third reason, specific to packaged foods, that might surprise you. It'll help your community be more resilient in rough times. In order to explain why, let's engage in a little thought experiment. Let's say that the cascading revolutions currently occurring in the Middle East expand into more oil-producing countries like Saudi Arabia and Iran. Given the current state of things, this is not an improbable scenario. Now, most of our oil actually comes from places like Canada and Russia, so there will still be some flow of energy. But even under current conditions, the price of one vital commodity, diesel fuel, has blown past four bucks a gallon. These prices have already put an enormous stress upon trucking companies, and guess where all that food that lines the shelves in your local market comes from? That's right, out of the back of a truck. If there's a major political crisis in the Middle East, oil prices will skyrocket since oil is fungible and it doesn't matter to the markets where it comes from. And if that happens, well, to put it simply, the trucks will stop. It just won't be profitable to ship anything over long distances. Suddenly, the whole concept of a national brand will be a thing of the past, especially for heavy staples like pickles, pasta, and peanut butter. Now, this will also be true for other goods like fruits, vegetables, and milk, which is all the more reason to buy these foods locally. But the cost and investment required to build a food production plant is vastly greater than that required to set up a farm, and it's unlikely that there will be much construction in the midst of such a crisis. And some packaged foods are remarkably efficient, shelf-stable sources of calories, which is very important in a crisis. Revolt in the Middle East is not the only way we might see an energy shock soon. Any number of economic events or natural disasters could cause similar problems. And as the effects of peak oil spread, this sort of crisis only gets more likely. So under such a circumstance, we will have to work with what we have, and so if you want to have a nice bag of chips or a hunk of cheese in a crisis, we have to support the local manufacturers of such goods now. What kind of local packaged goods can you buy at the supermarket? You might be surprised to find that you can buy most everything you need from local sources. For instance, what taco night would be complete without tortillas, cheese, and sour cream? You can buy all of those things from local sources, no problem. If you want a party, you can buy your chips, beer, and soda locally, without much issue. Kids hungry? Well, staples like milk, bread, and peanut butter are all produced locally in my area, and snacks like pickles are an easy choice for a low-calorie bite. Looking for something sweeter? Well, you can get your ice cream and chocolate sauce from local sources as well. Eggs might seem like a typical local warfare, but the amount of processing that they go through to get them clean and ready for market more or less qualifies them as a packaged good. Probably best to buy them locally, too. Sausages are often produced locally, but did you know that you can buy coney sauce to go on them from local sources too? What if you need some dried mushrooms or peppers to spice up your life? You might be able to find those from local sources too. Much better than shipping them from China, eh? Is spot hungry? You can even buy local dog food, if you know where to look. It seems like an easy change to make, huh? Just buy something different and support your community. Well, as with all things in this world, it's not that easy. It can be very hard to find local goods in supermarkets, unless you know exactly what you're going for, and the process of adaptation can involve a lot of label reading if you're not clever about it. 
I would suggest ditching the national supermarket you're used to and seeking out a more local retailer as a first step. Why? It's all about supply chain management. If your market is a national concern, it's much easier to just stock national brands, and probably cheaper too since you can work out massive package deals with the food corporation. However, if your market is itself local, it makes a lot more sense to buy local goods. The cost won't be much more than the national brands, and it's easier to get in touch with them to conduct business. The area of Michigan I am in is blessed with many local supermarket chains, but of them, my favorite is the Hiller's Market, where I film this episode. Not only do they have the best selection of local products, but they also go the extra mile to clearly label which foods are made in Michigan, which is a big help when you're shopping in a hurry. They also have a fantastic fresh produce and dairy section, and a damn good butcher, so it's my one-stop shop for food. But unless you live in Michigan, this step will require a bit of extra work on your part. I would avoid doing general searches online, as that brings up a lot of useless information. But if you search for supermarket in Google Maps, you can see what is in your area. And then, working backward from that, you can check out each market's website for info about where they are based. Or you can just walk in and talk to the customer service counter about the history of the company. Most managers will be happy to talk about such things with you. Then experiment. It might take a while to find the market that carries the goods you need from local suppliers, but it's a worthwhile effort, and eventually you'll find a place that really makes you happy. You're probably expecting too much if you plan on buying everything you crave locally. I personally couldn't live without a few imported items, like these yummy noodles from Japan. But the more you buy locally, the better off your community will be, so picking a good local market is vital. Then your work is done. All you have to do is vote with your dollars to benefit your community and the environment. So that's my case. I say we should all focus upon buying local foods, be they fresh or packaged, from local markets like Hillers as much as possible. It's good for the economy, good for the environment, and good for the safety and resilience of the community. And it's an easy change to make because once you get used to the local character and unique flavors of foods that are made in your area, and the excellent customer service you tend to get in local markets, I assure you, you're not going to go back to the comparatively bland and wasteful national brands. The sky calls to us. If we do not destroy ourselves, we will one day venture to the stars. Oh.